You may not think this is possible, but I figured out a way to press fit five pieces together in one operation on a Swiss machine. So we're going to start off with some basic operations on our main spindle, some drilling, some tapping, some grooving, and some threading. At this point, we're going to come up with our sub collet and grab our part and cut it off. Then we're going to go over to our sub spindle side where we're going to rough away as much material as we can for our milling operation that's about to come up. Now, this milling operation is where we're going to add the three pegs onto the part so we can press fit it into our main spindle. I really took my time here. I wanted to make sure these were as precise and as consistent as possible because, well, it has to run right. Now, after the three pegs are done, we drill three holes in our main spindle side to press fit the part into, and then I'm going to mill my first shape, which is going to be a triangle. And then once the triangle's done, here's where the magic really happens. The sub collet will wrap it up, press fit those pins into the part, and then I will cut off my part very slowly because I didn't want to risk twisting anything up. Once that's done, I'm going to wrap it back and press fit those two parts even further together using a broken tool that I found in the shop. That will then look like this. After that, I'm going to make the middle piece, which is just a round part with three more holes in it, and then I'm going to engrave the machine's name on the side of the part. Now we're going to come up with the sub collet. We're going to press fit into our part, but we're going to open our collet and rechuck on the middle section. Now after this, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. I'm going to rough turn down my stock again, and I'm also going to mill three really precise pegs. Now for the fourth part, I'm going to make a square, and I'm also going to deburr it because, well, we were handing these out to people. I don't want to see anyone get cut. Now, again, we're going to wrap it up with our sub collet. We're going to press fit our part into it, and we're going to cut off slowly again. And then one last time, we're going to press fit our shape even further onto those three pegs and make the base of the part where I threw a knurl on the bottom of it and drilled three more holes. And then once this is done, our sub collet's going to come up, press fit, and rechuck onto the base and cut the part off. So yeah, that's how I press fit five pieces together in one operation on a Swiss machine. Honestly, did this about five years ago, thought it was a pretty cool project, and I just found the footage on my computer, so I thought I'd throw a little short together and show you guys. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, and have a good day.